Hey, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to be talking about developers' experience and what that is. <laughs> developers' experience often, uh, uh, depending of uh, what kind of tools you're going to be using uh, when developing a particular software uh, for your business, uh, usually it refers to the overall experience that developers have when working with particular set of tools, technologies, platforms, or frameworks to build software applications. It encompasses various aspects of the developer's journey from the initial setup and configuration to coding, testing, development, and maintaining your software solutions that you are planning on doing. Uh, a positive developer's experience is crucial for productivity, efficiency, and satisfaction among developers. Uh, there are a lot of companies that do focus a lot on that from my limited time doing research as well as final product of uh, how solution would potentially would solve the problem my developers uh, experiences haven't been overlooked <laughs> and it can have a significant impact on success of software projects Key components of good developer's experience can include Ease of use. Developers should find it easy to use and start using tools and technologies. Complex configurations, steps, uh, or overall steep learning curves or perhaps challenging uh, process of using particular software solutions or tools. Uh, that can be daunting, uh, especially learning all the codes that might be required to develop a software, or cumbersome setup can be major determinant and uh, choosing what kind of software you are there looking to use. Documentation, clear, comprehensive, and up-to-date documentation is essential. It should provide developers with information they need to understand and use the tools effectively. Documentation is one way to put it, perhaps uh, training or easy to master tools up there. Uh, there's other way to describe it. Community and support. Access to supportive community forums and Responsive uh, customer support can make big uh, differences when developers and counter issues are have questions. Performance tools and frameworks should be performed with uh, reasonable response times and minimal resource consumption. Flexibility developers often have different preferences and requirements. Providing flexibility in how tools and frameworks can be used and configured can accommodate a wider range of needs. Uh, myself, I uh, have done so much research as well as perhaps in different regions. Well, the layout of how software should operate, even small things as the text, right? So depending on which way you you be up there would be reading a text from one side, from left to right, from right, uh, from right to left, so it depends, I never thought about it. But even small things like that makes a big difference for a lot of uh, people or users of that. Integration, uh, the ability to integrate with other tools and services is important. Developers often need to work with a variety of technologies so seamless integration in significant advantage. Debugging and troubleshooting. Tools should offer robust debugging and troubleshooting capabilities to help developers identify and fix issues effectively. So overall process of how, uh, depending on how you're gonna manage the project, you might be up there building system itself where it would go through QA department where, where all the problems can be addressed there without another hump, I guess, within that journey. Security. Security concerns should be addressed and tools should be designed with security best practices in mind to protect the software being developed. 
uh, especially accessibility and authorization and perhaps giving uh, to you different users different levels of access. Updates and maintenance. Uh, regular updates, bug fixes and ongoing maintenance are important to ensure that the tools and technologies remain reliable and secure over time as well as uh, depending if you or yourself you're delivering uh, different projects for different people those organizations that you are there uh, delivering some of those projects uptime is something to worth mentioning so those projects most of the time they need to be up 100% uh, all year round right 24 7 so it's just something worth mentioning and how yourself you would be taking maintenance into account uh, feedback developers should have channels to provide feedback requests features and report issues developers uh, who feel heard and valuable are more likely to have positive experience so overall feedback loop uh, where potentially feedback could be offered to improve product Community contributions. Open source projects benefit from contribution from the community, encouraging and facilitating community contributions and enhance the overall developer experience. User interface, UI, and user experience, UX, for the developers' tools uh, that have graphical user interfaces and clean and intuitive design can improve the overall experience. For people up there who are interested in learning more, I have published a book. Name of the book is uh, Project Fit Well. In this book, I'm sharing a lot of information with people up there who are interested in learning more about their body and everything related to their body. Would that be resting periods, uh, perhaps eating habits, as well as training routines? If you like to improve your body, I have done myself a lot of years doing research and understanding this particular subject. And I have published uh, this book with reason in mind so people would learn more of how, what, what's important, how to understand calories, how uh, to understand food, uh, what is training, all the details, all important facts. So you, I made those facts and all the information easy to understand for people out there who would like to learn more. I would highly recommend to go in the description below as well as perhaps if you have any questions or anything. To chat to me thank you if we started with operating systems and uh, different types of operating systems and even those have changed over time to be more uh, developer friendly so overall everyone from my personal understanding attitude is changing to uh, become more developer friendly so those uh, operating systems become more like a platforms for people uh, almost like a sandbox is to play and discover develop new projects and something to be flexible enough so more people so those operating systems would become more attractive to different developers and more friendly and easy to use as well as perhaps different tools and uh, <laughs> and projects up there so more people would uh, be up there working with those tools and potentially de uh, developing and offering a lot of value to large groups of people. Companies and organizations that prioritize developer experience often see benefits such as increased developer productivity, reduced times to make uh, different pro software solutions uh, or products, a higher quality of software that they do produce and improve developer retention. Uh, some of the projects are there, uh, without mentioning any particular names, become critical. Uh, uh, this is uh, these uh, uh, in comparison to some of the projects are there. Uh, they rely on software developers and it can impact the company's overall ability to innovate and develop uh, cutting edge uh, software solutions. Uh, myself, a uh, quick uh, uh, information I guess on my own progress that would be I'm currently looking to develop some of the software myself and some of the products up there. Uh, it just some of those products or projects can uh, charge you money. So it's not something that I'm interested in, especially in the beginning. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to be paying for. 
So I'm more interested in working with some of the software solutions out there who are free of charge. So that is my personal attitude that going into this. If any takeaways of the overall developer experience, perhaps I'm more interested, not necessarily for a limited time only, I'm not interested in even those solutions, not in the beginning. I'm looking to see t uh, what projects I can develop and perhaps different payment methods of that, uh, but not right now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.